Well, hello, everybody. It's Sandra, and I have my mom with me today. Hi there. We're going to have a look at more of that auction haul. And the first thing we're going to look at, I bought a small haul of some very beautiful and extremely unusual pieces. And then we're going to go through a box of junk, quote, unquote, and we'll see what we have. Um, what else? You want to say hi to Cousin Susan? <laughs> yeah, I want to say hi to Cousin Susan and Jim in Florida. There you go. Well, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. If you want to buy anything, reach out at IamTheFunkyPickle at gmail.com, okay? I will try to put prices on the screen for most of the things, but I think there's a lot of stuff in this box, so I probably won't be able to put a price on every single thing. But reach out if you want anything, and um, yeah, let us know what your favorites are, and like this video if you do like it, and also consider subscribing to the channel. We'll be right back. This is so special and so unusual. Mom, you're not going to believe this. This is a pendant that is the size of a human head, practically. No. Well, all right, my hand. No. Watch this. Wow. Wow. I never saw that before. Yep. This is Holy something God. that I never saw either. Look at that beautiful shell cameo. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, it's absolutely ginormous. I'll, I'll measure it. This is sterling silver. Look how nice this is. This even has like a safety thing, right? Because you could put this on a string of pearls or oh, beads anything, yeah. or a chain or a chain if you'd rather. It's very nicely made. Now, this is additionally signed by the artist. This is, I think, um, a QVC or an HSN thing. This whole first box is QVC items. I bought many, many, many QVC and HSN items all new in the box. So we're going to be getting to those in uh, videos as we go here. Not today, but today I'm, well, today I'll just show this one box, but let's just check out the measurement. I got this thing um, at a yard sale and somebody perfect. chopped it up. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, but it's, yeah, kind, it's it kind of chopped up. Look at that. Wow. Here's my hand. Mm -hmm. She's lovely. Mm -hmm. I love the carving on this. And this is a obviously very skilled artisan. This isn't old. This is beautiful. This sold for a lot of money when they were selling these on TV. The, the uh, beautiful pink blush in the background on the front. Is yes, very I know. Very pretty. It's so nicely. Yes. It's kind of hitting her her face a yes, little bit. Yes. Beautiful. I love it, and I'll put on the screen who that is. So that's the first thing. Isn't that interesting? Yes. I know a lot of people are here not to buy, just to look at the haul. So that's completely fine. As always, no pressure to buy anything, just if you want, okay? That's what I'm here for. I'm looking <laughs> at all. I didn't see any of this. Do you love it or do you love it? I do, I do. This is really cute. You don't even have to be a cat person in order to fall in love with this, as far no, as I'm concerned. It's pretty sparkly. Look at the shell. I believe this is sterling silver. I will test for that and, and guarantee that it is. Beautiful. Look how cute. Yeah. yeah this one I, is a little bit see-through too. Yeah. Yeah. Love the bail. I, yes. Hidden. <laughs> hidden. You, yeah. you like it when it's like that. Yes. And as you can see, this could be put on a string of pearls or something oh, also. Sure, big enough, yeah. And this isn't really a flaw per se. That's just the shell. That just happens when they put this in the silver. So cute. <laughs> I love their expressions. Look, she has a bow around her neck or he, mm -hmm. they're friends. Of course. Very unusual. Let me just measure this one too, just so you guys can see how big it is. I know sometimes it's hard when you just see it in my hand. Three inches. Really nice curvature. I think this is beautiful. Truly so. Very different. Very, very different. How about this cat with the sterling silver bale? How cute is this? I don't know. Well, it's certainly not ivory. That's for sure. I don't know if this is carved bone or if it is just some sort of plastic or, um, well, I guess it's not plastic, but ceramic or whatever. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this did come from HSN or QVC. I don't know if they, if they sold bone or not. So I'm just going to say I'm not exactly sure about it. Maybe, maybe it's carved bone, not ivory though. So 
cute. Oops. And mark 925 in the bail. Silver around the sides. Mm -hmm. Absolutely darling. How fun is that? Yes. This one I do think is bone. And this is all hand etched. It's very cute. Very cute. This is done in the Asian style. I don't know where this was made. It kind of looks like those were put in and then antiqued so that the brown would be in there. That's what it looks like to me, but I, I don't know. That is certainly darling. What a cute cat. Love it. How about this cameo ring? Look at that beautiful carving. Now this one is marked Italy. Often cameos and things, other things that are carved are made in Italy. I always think about that. Like the Italians are the carvers. This is signed. I believe that's the same sig signature as that other piece we just saw before, the big giant pendant. I love this one. And what, what I really love about this one so much is the sterling silver frame on this. Don't you love that, Mom? Yes, very much. I think her face is beautiful. There's a nice amount of silver on this as well. And I think this is additionally a nice big size. This looks new and unused to me. I don't see scratches or marks or anything. This came from the same collection we were talking about last time. This came from a woman's estate. She really had exquisite taste and she had a lot of jewelry. So I don't believe that she probably would have been able to wear every piece in her lifetime. Uh, and I, I don't even think she's, she's gone. I think she's just had to downsize or something like that is, is my understanding. Anyway, that is gorgeous artisan signed sterling silver, beautiful, beautiful shell cameo. Oh, how that shows. Doesn't it? Yes. Look at the colors of yeah. this shell. And that looks like a mermaid's tail, which maybe because this is a hibiscus. I think that is, uh, is that a flower that's found in Hawaii by the water? I believe it is. I'm not sure that those could be leaves, that bale. Let me get them here, too. It is sterling silver. You, Yeah, you can grow hibiscus here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, I've never seen this piece before. I've never seen a hibiscus shell before. Have you, Mom? No, I haven't, but how soft it is. Yeah, I love the colors. Yes. And let's just see. There's some transparency, of course. A lot of glitz. Yes, that's really a beautiful thing. Look at these two beauties. I will sell these separate. So just tell me if you want the lefty or the righty. I love her hair. Look at her earring. Look at the flowers. Such a beautiful upturned nose, Gibson girl hair. And this one is very different. This one has more of a nouveau feel to it. Look at her hand. Very delicate, no signatures. This is carved mother of pearl. I'm sure this is a common thing, this car carved mother of pearl like this, but I don't think I have ever seen women's faces in carved mother of pearl. Have you, mom? No. Not beautiful? Yes, it is. It certainly is. And I just want to show the light coming through this. And we'll do the other one too. Wow. Yeah. These are works of art. Sometimes the faces are not as well carved. Yes. This, these are. I agree with you. Outstanding. Details. Outstanding. Very much. I bought this whole box. I don't know what's in here. I saw these beautiful lacquerware brooches. These are ordinarily made in Russia. Talk about beauty, all hand painted. And then when I was at the auction, I lifted this off to see what was underneath. I see this Cynthia Chuang stick pin. Apologies if that's not with pronounced right. With shoes, <laughs> adorable. It does, looks like little, little, little sneakers. <laughs> Um, and I saw some interesting stuff in here. I don't know what's in here. I did not go through it in detail. Uh, but when I opened this, there seemed to be some old things in here. And that's why I bid 190 on this. I probably wasn't going to go any higher than that. So I'm glad that 
the other person dropped out, but that's kind of a high price. So somebody else knew this was a, a very nice lot for sure. Uh, if anybody wants any of these, I will sell these for $5 each. These are beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Each one is signed by the artist. It some, probably took somebody a long time to collect all of these. Look at the reds and oranges and pinks, Mom. Look at the gold frame. Yep. Wow. Nice. Right. Nice. Very detailed, isn't it? Yes. Very pretty. Beautifully hand-painted. I like the shape of this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Each one's a little bit different. Absolutely. Look at this one. Just the single rose. Nice. And this one I like because of the bird. Who else likes bird jewelry? This looks like this has some crazing. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Isn't it, though? Yeah. It has a little bit of crazing. I don't think it would really show. Oh, the, the, the gold tone shows up. It, it does. Well, if anybody buys any of these, I'll throw that in for free. Just ask me. You can have the bird for free with, with the purchase of another one of these. If you'd like. Oh, this one I love. Look mm -hmm. at the royal blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are not decals. This is all hand painted. And then we just have this last one, this iris. Look at that. I thought those were real pearls. That actually mm -hmm. tricked me. I love the colors. Yes. That golden color and the blue. Yeah. Okay, so those. Five dollars each if anybody wants. That guy I'll put in for free with a purchase of any of these lacquerware brooches. Well, the first thing, let's take a look at this Cynthia Chuang. Now, I have had this name brand before. I recognized it immediately. It is usually marked 10 on the back. This is ceramic. And I think she's such a cool artist. Oh, I wonder, hmm, I wonder if he's supposed to have something in there. I wonder if he's supposed to have antenna. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. He doesn't need them as far as I'm concerned, but you <laughs> could, you could put a couple of wires in there if you want. Very cute, obviously. Awesome collectible. These have nice value. They're probably only going to go up in value. This is a quirky thing. This is not everybody's thing. I know a lot of my viewers like bugs. I know I, I certainly do. Yes. You do too, right, mom? Ladybugs are good luck. Are they? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I love it. I think this is very, very well done fantastic so let's have a look at this i had a peek at the auction and that's one i knew for sure i wanted this lot because let me just put this over here there's some old stuff in here and if you're new to collecting or to reselling uh it's age doesn't really have a thing to do with it i just like old old items i like antique jewelry and um Let's just explore what's in here. I, I have no idea. Well, I guess we can take a look at this lariat. Oh, oh. What is it? <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a lariat, but it doesn't have its uh, uh. its necklace. But these are very pretty briolettes. This would be very easy to do. I'm sure I have old chains, and I'm sure I have some fine ones that I could just stick on there. Wow, nice, that's, a great, nice. that's a great color blue. It is. What is this thing? Wow. Wow, look at it from the side. That is absolutely looks like a bow and arrow. Doesn't it? I have never in my life seen that. Never. I've never seen. It's like a bridge, <laughs> like the a bridge over water or something. But the red is so vibrant. The pink. It, look, it's hot pink. Well, yes. Isn't that amazing? It wow. It sure is. Even the little ones are sparkling. And look how high it is. Now, let me just see what the the metal looks like here the stones are gorgeous yeah they are what an incredibly beautiful antique this is absolutely an antique you notice how the pin comes out further than the piece oh yes oh yes yes well way back in the day fabrics were a lot thicker than today like just not like polyester and stuff yes so it could really get in your that's really cape so or whatever that's unbelievable. Well, this is the one to beat for me. I don't, I'm telling you right now, I doubt if any, anything's going to beat this. That's wow. I would be so interested to see what this would look like on because of the, the side view of that. Now this, oh, 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 here's a lariat with its proper, it's proper I love those. stuff. I do too. Because you can make it shorter or yep. longer. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There, there's something very feminine about them. Yes. Yes. I actually love the clear. We've got a little knot. I can take that knot out. I don't know if it's real silver or not. I don't care. No. Um, it probably isn't. You know, hanging by its beautiful. Weight. You know, the weight's on the bottom. It's lovely. Yes, yes. We'll put this one on our neck in a few. Oh, good. But this thing, this is kind of weird and wonderful. I have never seen anything like this. All of these are braided together. This doesn't seem sterling, but it certainly seems that it is maybe some type of silver. Maybe it's 800. Look at that. Is that a, a bird, I guess? Let's see how this opens. Press these. No. Oh. Huh. Look at this. That is so weird. I've never seen this before. Look at that. Oh, no, you must have. That's like a giant screw. Well, this is certainly all hand done, don't you think? I certainly do. Yeah, is that supposed to unscrew like that? Oh, yeah, that's how you would get it on your wrist. How else could you put it on? I couldn't imagine. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the only way you would put it on. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Wow. Well, if, if this is 800 silver, I mean, it might not be. I'm just guessing. It seems like with this type of of workmanship and age that it, it should be. It is. I have never seen anything no, even, very, very even closely resembling this. Forget about with this giant screw right here. Very unique bracelet. Yes. Wow. Now this, that must have had uh, something on it in at some point in its life. I would doubt if they just had plain white. Unless, do you think they sold them like this so you could paint your own thing on it? I don't what know. If? Maybe. Maybe. I'm wondering if it had the transfer wear stuff on here. The, oops. The the transfer, like they, it's sort of like a decal and it's made of paper and they put it on a piece like this and then they fire it on. And sometimes they glaze over it. Sometimes they glaze under it. If they glaze over it, it's usually more well-preserved. Well, it's still interesting. That's still interesting. Too bad it's missing its, its stuff. Oh, I love this bar pin. Look at those nice sparkly stones. This one is slightly less sparkly than the rest. That's a beautiful antique piece. Can you see it, Mom? Yeah, I do. That's beautiful. Look at a little bit of curvature. Oops, we've got a couple little situations with the prongs there. I'll, I will um, uh, push those down. Oh, I love that. I love all of these so far. And here is a lovely young lady. This is celluloid. Love it against the black, don't you? Yes, I do also. C-clasp. Well, I love her, her hair and her face. Look at the details. Yes. A bit of, speaking of hair, this is a little hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's pretty. Well, this is a lovely 1920s, maybe. Oh, yes. Perhaps Edwardian. Yes. Oh, yes. that's beautiful. Yes. I'm just, let me just check to make sure this works. Yep, that works. Okay, I, I was actually just pu pulling it the wrong way. That that works as it should. Boy, that's beautiful. Yeah. Little bit of discoloration right there. It doesn't matter. It's old. It is old. And is it a missing? No. Huh, that's weird. Well, anyway, that's beautiful. I love it. What is this? Oh, no way. Wait a minute. Look at that. How beautiful and delicate and feminine yes. that is. Yes. 
I can't tell you that I have ever seen this guilloche enameling in that peach color before. I don't think I've ever seen that color. And how interesting to have a pink rose on that soft yes, orange yes. background. How dare they? <laughs> how dare they? And yet it works. Yeah, yeah, and yet it, it works. That is a quirky color. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, I doubt it came on this chain. I think this is called a snake chain. This doesn't seem as old to me, but you know, I will include it, of course. This is the way we found it. It's possible that it's original too. It doesn't seem it, however. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Yes. Wow. Tangerine, tangerine color. Tangerine. We'll put that one on our neck also. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this. You know. What is it? This is a little choker. Wow, little is right. Oh, my, 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 my. And it doesn't have its jewelry piece oh, anymore. Oh, you know, goodness. I don't think I have ever seen an antique choker like this before. I've seen them in photographs for sure, mm -hmm. in Victorian photographs. That's a beautiful thing. Got chucked out. Of Needs to be ironed. Yeah, unless I wonder if something in here went on there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Let me put this on here. Oh, I thought this was like a loop thing, but it's it's ripped. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. It sure is small. Look how small. Uh Interesting for what it is. You don't find them very often. They probably got chucked, you know. Yes, or rotted over time because this, it is just yes. cloth. I've never I've never seen anything like that. This is very lovely. I didn't see any marks on it. It's just a little gold to tone pen. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. Hmm. That is quite nice. Let's see if anybody is in here. This is weird. It seems like it's opening the opposite way of what I'm used to. Oh, room for us, Cindy. Room for us. <laughs> you and me. Mm -hmm. I like it. This seems like this may be gold filled, this part inside here. Oh, that's very pretty. This one is clearly machine made. Beautifully so. Not tiny either. Not tiny. Not tiny for sure. Never seen one like that. That's another one I've never seen. Mm. Oh my goodness. Come on. It's like every piece is an antique in yeah. this box. Yeah. That yeah. is beautiful. I love me a purple stone too. I love purple stones. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so mm -hmm. nice. You see, there's also two clear rhinestones on each side. There's mm -hmm. the light. Mm -hmm. Nice condition. Not all scratched up. I love the gold tone, you know, the metal, the metal, the fanciness of the metal. Yes. Very, very pretty. Isn't that nice? Let's see what this one is. Wow. Look at this. Oh. It's beautiful. It certainly is. Wow. I wish this one was platinum. It, <laughs> it's oh in the gosh. style of. Now, these stones are pretty yellowed off. That kind of stuff I think is charming. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yes. Yes. The overall shape of it. Yes. Lovely. Isn't it? Isn't it? Well, we're definitely going to. We'll put this one on our neck, too. Am I oh, too definitely. close? So I guess I can't, I can't go any further that's away. sparkle coming from there. Yes. So I know. Even with the, yeah. the slightly yellowed, oh, yes. the yellowed stones. Whoa. Oh. Look mm. at, would mm. you look at that? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. That uh -huh. is wild. Look you know, you at the pink. You don't see that often. Not, not this old. No. For sure. It is more common to find the, the gemstone colors, your emerald green and your sapphire yes. blue and your ruby red. That is some pink. Mm -hmm. I love the simplicity of it. Yes, of course. With the movement. Um, let me just see. This one seems sterling to me. And it is. It says sterling right there. 
put that on the neck too. for sure i think that's a great idea yeah. i will do there's a little bit of a knot here you think you can get this out or no do you want me to do it later later yes. okay okay i'll do it later no problem okay sandy no problem i wonder what this is i wonder if that's like a little lingerie pin it must be i'll have to look this up is it marked out? will snap it says let's see how that oh, how the mechanism works well, that's cool yeah i'm wondering if this was made to like hold up a garter or something or a bra strap was that a thing no i guess i don't no. know they weren't really bra bra bras right or no. i don't know well i'll look it up and then we won't have to worry oh these are beautiful antique earrings Gosh. they're missing their hooks oh it's missing a little stone okay i am sure that i will be able to replace that if you can't i will be able to if anybody wants these for sure i have lots and lots of old stones i'll make sure it's the same size and the same cut and uh, from the same age the same time period beautiful these are beautiful mm -hmm. look at this old thing lovely wow look at that mom mm -hmm. yeah it looks this lovely. is mm -hmm. so unusual what i like about this one is it's so um bold and like bulky i mean i guess that's not the right like it doesn't have the same sort of no like no. tiny the I, floor de lis is raised up yes look at the height yes yes i wonder if this one might have some silver content also it seems it it seems it. I love the bale too. That's definitely the original bale. Mm. Let's see if there's any markings or if there's anybody in here. This is a nice big, big piece. Yeah. And this is another one. This chain doesn't seem as old. It's probably not. It didn't go with it, but I'll, I'll keep them together. That is beautiful. It opens and closes fine. Let's put this one on our neck too, Mom. It's just gorgeous. Sure. Now, these are cool these are likely victorian beautiful beautiful cut steel very feminine yes. oh is this a moon okay a moon you may not know this i love sliver moons i love sliver <laughs> yeah, moon jewelry like... hold on i got it's got a hair on it let me just take this off of it okay first of all i hope that says sterling I think it does. It does. Okay, look at this. Oh, I love this so much. How delicate it is. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought it had blue stones and clear stones, but it doesn't. That's just the metal in between there. Mm. This has a lot of dust on it. Let me see if I can get some of that off. Hold on. I'm going to use a paintbrush. This is somewhat stiff, but not terribly so. It looks all dirty. <laughs> I've done this hogs a few hair. times before. It is hog's hair? Hog's hair. Really? Yes. So that's just taking a lot of the dust off. I would be careful using a cloth on something like this because you have the you possibility. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Snag on it. Pull out one of these stones. Yeah. That's beautiful. Sterling silver. Mm -hmm. Lazar. I love sliver moon jewelry. It's not that easy to find. Now we have four, four smaller things. This fleur de -lis, this old ring. Oh, that is a charming little tiny locket. This I think is a lingerie pin. I think there's another name for it, but I, I can't think of it. What is this, a little pant? Oh, look at the little pansy. That's so cute. It is, it is. Hand hand done. Beautiful. Hand painted. And I wonder if this is an old Uncas ring. It certainly is um, costume. Let me see if there's a mark. And this is an Uncas. It has a, a U with an arrow through it. This is a nice early Uncas. This is one of the earliest ones I've seen. And it, the stone is a little bit of 
dulling and stuff. That's very cute, though. And here is another fleur-de-lis. This looks like this might have some silver in it. Oh, well, there you go. Sterling and then, oh, W-R-E. Um, I can't think of who that is. That is a name brand that I've had before and I've sold before many, many times. That's a nice name. And this charming little thing. Mm -hmm. I think that says A A T maybe. This is probably gold fill. Let's see if anyone's in here. No, it has a little bit of verdigris in there. It's really cute. I just love the size of it. I wonder if somebody would have worn this on a necklace, if somebody was small in stature, or if this went on a bracelet. So it's just a lovely, lovely little sweetheart charm. Well, let's put some of these items on our neck. We put all these things away. I had to double this one up. Guys. Nice. I love it. I just rubbed it with a cloth just on the high points. I love it. Wow. This is a beautiful oldie. Yes. You won't see it on your neighbor. That's true. I love this. This is in very nice condition. Now, I think we determined that this one is sterling. That is a beauty. That's such beautiful glass. Yes. This one is very special. The color pink, it's very rich. Yes, it is. Sterling silver. Here is our beautifully feminine and unusual orange guilloche enameling pendant. Tangerines. That's nice. You sound good, Mom. Oh, thank you. That must be where I got oh, my talents. Yeah, sure. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is tangerine. That's a beautiful thing here. My my camera work is has much to be desired as usual. That's beautiful. It's in nice condition. Sometimes you see these and there's a lot of wear to the enameling. That is not the case here. Love the framing on this one. Yes. Beautiful. Look at this deco insanity. That's magnificent. I love. I love this. I love this shape right here. It's very bat-like. Discolored stones. Unless those are supposed to be pale, pale yellow. It seems like they are kind of uniformly all that same color. This is a cool piece. I think this one is probably not real. It doesn't look it. I want to show, just show the other side of this in case I didn't. Beautiful. Don't you love yeah, old I lariats? I do. This is so nice. There's a knot right there, which oh, I can dear. I can get that out. Okay. I'm taking a look at the glass. This is definitely a used, not abused item. Somebody was careful with it. I don't see scratches or uh, maybe there are a few little kind of flea bite. Yeah, a little, a little tiny bit on that one. Let's take a look at this one. Not that that would show. The camera seems to magnify flaws. Good. Let it show. Let it show yeah. for sure. But it wouldn't no, be no noticeable way. when you're wearing it. No. Don't you love the little beads? I do too. Just to. I do love them. Make it a little fancy. I do know. love them. Yep. Yeah. Little faux, yeah. sort of a champagne, yellowy, golden mm -hmm. colored mm -hmm. faux pearls. A beautiful piece from days gone by. Yes. I love this type of glass. I think this is called rhubarb glass, and it is lovely. I love that it's white rhubarb glass. There's a little bit of string showing right there. This is very interesting indeed. There's a lot of play there when it hits the lights. 
I'm going to move this box. I feel like that's in, in the way of our... Here, great, Mom. You can hold that. Thank you very much. Let's just take a look at this on the neck. Hopefully you can see what I mean by this glass. I had to clean this up a little bit. It's got some, you know, it looks like someone spilled coffee on it or something. Just in a couple of spots. Look at that. See how it hits the light, Mom? Yes, Can you I see do. what it's doing through the camera? Lovely old thing. Oh, look I at like this it. antique. Yeah. Well, we know you do. Yeah, yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. I love it. I do too. C class. So cheerful. It certainly is. That needs to be just pulled apart slightly. I'll, I'll take that apart a little bit. It needs to be lifted. Beautiful. I'll just take a look at that in the light. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at the brass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very beautiful stone. Never saw it quite like that. I've never seen a flower like this either. Right, right. Yes. Beautiful. That looks like it's Vauxhall glass. Mm. Beautiful. This is cute. This is one of these fake star sapphire things. Yeah, I thought I just felt that with my finger. No pin on it anymore. People know how to do that. I don't, but I think that's sterling. Hey, let me look. Oh, that is sterling. So that's too bad about the pin part. But the mechanisms are in place. People know how to do this. I, I don't. And I have a hard time finding the time to learn and buy the things. I'd rather just sell things as is. You know what I mean, Mom? I understand completely. It's just time. Time is a problem for me. And all the things that might be a problem for other people might not be for me. But time is time is my thing. Wow. <laughs> there are a lot of pieces to wait. Whoa. What in the world? Okay. I wow. Like oh, me neither. We'll have a look at that in a minute. All right? I don't know how many pieces we have here. Well, these are truly not silver they're very white who cares? who cares is right these are oh look at this these are very similar aren't they i'm just gonna lay them all out and then i'll pull the camera back oh the bracelet wow dog fur and the earrings as well look at oh, nice. that how nice indeed. And that's a very pretty, let me pull this up. It's like a purple. I love this swirly technique that is shell cameo. See through it. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Yeah, let's do it. Good idea. That's really the best Lovely. way to have a look, isn't that? Yes. I love well, it. A lot going for it. There certainly is a lot going for it. Wow. Now we have this one, which is the purple stone. And then this one's a little bit different. Not only is it blue, but it's also a little bit of a different Ooh. shape. Yeah, it's a different shape too. See? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Is that missing? Is that supposed to have four? Perhaps. Or more? Yeah. All right, it's missing a couple of its curly cute things. It's kind of hard to see. I don't think you would notice it if you wear it, but let's put it on the neck and we'll, we'll be the judge of how noticeable it is. I think not at all. No, because your um, strong point is the color of the stones. And the cameo. Oh, yeah, that's... That's a really pretty girl, actually. Lovely. Yes. This one has just a touch of verdigris. Not bad. Just a touch. I see... A tiny bit over here, and then a little bit on the back. Oh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, just in those two spots, the only spots I see it. Now let's take a look at this bracelet because that's great. That mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. great. Two cameos. Three. Three. Cameos. And each face is very different. We have that one. Oh, for heaven's sake. I like the star also, yes. and this one. Yes. 
and this one. I love that the faces are so different. So these two go together, the bracelet and the necklace. And then this one with the purple, also that one with the earrings, unless somebody wants all, obviously. Mm. Very different faces. I love that. Mm -hmm. I yes. love that. These are screw backs. I've got to look these up. I don't know. I've just never seen, I've never seen anything like this. I want to just put this bracelet on the wrist. Hold on. Look at that. This has just a touch of verdigris also right there. Can you see it? Very rich looking. It is rich looking. I love it. It's nice and big, too. That's why I wanted to show it on the hand. But not too big, Sandy, you know? That's it, right. It's classy. Yes, not too big. That's right. Oh, I should probably... Let me just do the length of the bracelet, at least. Yeah, because that's not uh, a tiny one. It I does. Mean. It seems like it's uh, like it's big. Yeah. Doesn't it? This is almost an eight. Nice. Oh, I love it. I'm, I'm really in love with this. Mm-hmm. 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 That's, that's beautiful. I love this. So you would pin this, say, on a piece of velvet that's around your neck. So the person from the front, it looks like this. But when you want to see the time, you pull it up and you turn uh -huh. it upside down like that to see the time. Very good. That is beautiful. Yeah, it is. This is certainly very 1940s looking to me. Look at the feet. Hopefully there'll be a mark or something on here. Gosh, on the face of the watch. Yeah, let me see. You're right. That's probably where it would be, right? Let me look. I don't see the maker on the face. I will try to figure out who made it, though. I'll put it on the screen. But those numbers are messed up. It's hard to see, but... Like the 11, the 12, the and the 1, and the 2 are a little bit messed up somehow. It did just wind. So let's see if it works. Okay, it's 936. So we'll just leave that here and see if that works. And, oh. Uh, oh. Oh, Sandy, that's lovely. This is, this that's must be lovely. somebody's collection. That's a dead and stone right there in that bow. So this is the same thing. You'd wear it like this, and then when you want to know the time, you lift this up so mm -hmm. that you can see it. I guess that's a Sussex. Let's see. And that one winds, too. It doesn't mean it works, but should I set this at the same time? Sure. 9.36? Okay. At least they're not overwhelmed. No. Oh, okay, this one, you can't change the time on that. Mm -hmm. Who knows if these can be fixed? It certainly is possible or not. Oh. Oh. Look at this one, Mom. I'm going to let you hold it. It's even got a bow on top, Sandy. I love it. Yeah, I do, too. I love it. Mm -hmm. That one is cool. Yes. And this one has is sideways. <laughs> Lorette. Okay. It looks like there's some stuff going on beneath that crystal. It looks like it's beneath... Um, well, people know how to Somebody would be that. able to take that apart for sure. Let me see yes. if it winds. It does wind. You try to do the 936 thing. Okay. That one doesn't seem like that moved much, but this one doesn't wind. And oh, Wow. They're getting better and better. This one. Oh, I love that. The best, that's the best. Wow. That's the best. This is screaming deco. Beautiful. That's thing. great. I think there are some marcasites missing here. Oh, are there? I don't care. I don't care either. <laughs> I don't care either. Wow. And blitz. And a oh, good smart. England, and then there's the yeah, that's how you date it with that stuff. What does it say? HBS or H and S? I will look this up. Um, that's lovely. Yeah, oh, this part opens. Oh, okay. Well, there you got inside. Yep, let me see if this one winds. 
it does. All right. 936 it is. We'll leave them here for a little while and see if they work. This one is is really something. Yeah, it is. I love the geometric. Wow. I yeah, it looks like there are only a couple of small marcosites missing. Well, these are all fantastic. Mm -hmm. Let's put these to the side for a minute and then we'll see later if those are working. You don't see them very often, do you? I don't. I don't. I've seen them a few times recently. Really? Uh, this is very nice, too. This is a scarab watch. Uh, nice. A lot of wear to the gold tone. Not great, but if somebody, I mean, what I would do, I would take this band off and put it on a different face. That's what I would do. Uh, but if anybody buys any of these, I'll throw this watch in for free. But you, please just remind me. Here's a cute little pin. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's pretty dirty. That is pretty dirty. Let me see if I can. It's still shiny. It is. It certainly is. I can't really tell what that is, what color it is or anything. Let's try again. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a lot of hair on it. Okay. All right. So we have that. Uh, let's keep these watches here for a second and maybe give me another box, Mom. What you got? Well, let me see. Well, here, do this one. This looks like a good one. Yeah. So this is a 1928, I believe. That's the 1928 swirl. Oh, another cameo. Someone was a cameo yeah. person for sure. And this should say 1928. <laughs> if I can flip it over, 1928, there it is. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. I love 1928 jewelry. It does look antique. It does look, this one looks very 20s. That's beautiful. Love this name brand. Hopefully there's some more in here and there is because I can already see. This is another 1928 piece. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I love baskets. I love baskets. Look at that. Oh, I like that very much. Very, very I much. I do too. I I like the slant of it. Don't yes. You? That's great. No yeah. missing stones. Looks like it's in fantastic condition. Oh, of it. look at this stick pin. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Let me see what that says. I believe that says Jessara, J-E-S-A-R-A. -E I've never heard of this person. This is a wonderful stick pin. This is very clearly 1980s probably but i want you to feel how heavy this is it's a, you're gonna be surprised i am surprised it's the top yeah donut ring <laughs> yes it does look like a donut ring this is a nice condition mm -hmm. it kind of looks like it's silver i guess not it would be marked probably if so but that's that's a lovely thing a lot of people love their 1980s jewelry and this is likely another 1928 piece. Look at the delicate colors, the pink and the blue. Yes. And there's the 1928 swirl. That's very pretty. Very. And the pink is outshining the blue because the blue is very soft. Yes. Yeah, you're right. The pink is a little more yeah. powerful or something. Let me just pull the rest of these out and see what we have. Oh, this one's old. This is an old earring. Okay, that looks like it for, oh, uh, these were nice old things. See how yellowed off that glue has yeah. gotten through the years. Yes, yes. These are so nice for parts though, these little dangles. I mean, I won't use them for that, but okay. Oh, those were cute. Those were cute, but what is this? Oh, another one with that, the that same cute? pastel. Let me put this in the light. The same pastel colors. I love the pearls. Isn't that lovely? Yes. Very sparkly and twinkly. And here is yet another 1928 piece. This one is not as delicate. I like the boldness. Bow. Yes. A nice long bow. Yeah. For sure. And now we have a whole thing of stick pins. Let's see. Oh, and earrings. These are 
these are probably 1928 also. This was a real signature look for them. These little ceramic roses, very pretty with the drop pearls, got fuzzies on it from this box. But, oh, a fish. <laughs> I've never seen a fish, a fish stick pin. And you know, I know a thing or two about stick pins. I have like a yeah, billion of them. Oh, that's very pretty. Aurora Borealis. Yes, it is. Not particularly old. I love it, though. Yeah. And this one is sort of a 1970s stick pin. Oh, I love that. Who remembers Spirograph? That's what this reminds oh, me of. Woo! And, oh, look at this one. Oh, that's not even the thing. This is the thing. Oh, fantastic. That's the end cap. Oh, six. That's very pretty. I don't think that's marked. I think that's just some stuff on there. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen one like this. I hope my, let me see, the signature says, I hope this isn't blurring out. I have no idea what that says. I don't know. It's cool, though. <laughs> that's a happy fish. Yeah, it's a nice little fish. That's a nice little fish. Not old, but very cute. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Flash there. Yeah. Too bad that one's not real. Ooh. It doesn't have to be with that kind of shape. Right, right. Oh, look at that. Lock and key. I mean, heart shaped. Mm -hmm. Lock and key. Oh, I love this one. I've seen this one before. Look at the guilloche enamel. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Really cute. Ooh, that's very twinkly and sparkly. It doesn't look it from this angle, but it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe that is Avon. Here's this kind of all ruined one. An arrow, that's interesting. And a little kangaroo. Well, those are all pretty. Especially the 1928s. Let's check on our watches, all right? Let's see if anything here is, is going at all. Well, this one is. Really? Yep. That one now says 946. Oh, one. This one, that was the one that doesn't wind, I don't think. All right, that one doesn't work. That's this one. Well, you know, Sandy, with age on them, you know, I'm sure they've been sitting around a long time. And it's possible sure. that they could be clean. If somebody could clean them. Right, right. You know, last year I sold an old clock to somebody. Of course, I know nothing about old clocks, but it was a very beautiful 1940s clock. So this guy sends me an email and he goes, it works, right? So I said, yes, I had plugged it in. It worked fine. So he got it. And then... A couple weeks later, he said, I thought you said the clock worked. Oh, I go, it does. Seriously. He says, yeah, but it doesn't work well. It was oh. losing It was losing five minutes like every three days oh, or something. Geez. Who knew? I just plugged it in. I'm like, yeah, it works. Yeah, Duh. Sure. That's sort of embarrassing, right? Well, Live and learn. learn. I won't make the mistake twice. I'll tell you that much. Well, thank you so much, as always, for coming. We really appreciate you being here. Right, Mom? Yes, and thank you so much. Bye-bye. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your favorites are. If you want to buy anything, reach out. I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. See you soon, everybody. Be well.